Just over 150 years ago, the first brand new bishop of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, went over to Rome to ask the Passionist General if he could have some of our priests and brothers to serve in the new diocese. They were very, very needy, just starting off. So the general, in his kindness, took the chance and gave the bishop three Italian passionists and one Polish passionist, none of whom spoke English. And the amazing thing was that settling in their new monastery up on a hill just up above the main rivers in Pittsburgh, within 10 years there were 100 passionists. And I think that came from that they really loved the people. And they were concerned about being of help to people, trying to lead the people to the Lord. And the people responded, responded marvelously, even giving their sons when vocations were called. And that's why our motto is, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in our heart. So that through our lives and the lives of our brothers and sisters, the compassion of Jesus will go on to continue to tell the story of God's tremendous love for each one of us. We are the Passionists. The compassion of Christ leads us to life and the journey goes on and on. Who are the Passionists today? Well, like their founder, St. Paul of the Cross, they are committed to bring Christ's compassion to those who need it most. We Passionists, coming from our Passionist spirit, we do preach Christ crucified. And ultimately what that means is we preach the love of Jesus and we preach the compassion of Jesus. And these people who come to us, no matter what walk of life, no matter you know, how rich or poor they may be, they all seem to have some need. They come with a lot on their mind. I think the Sacrament of Reconciliation has a wonderful effect in the life of our retreatants today. People today, I think, are really searching for spirituality, and I believe that they're also desirous of growing in their life. The work that we do in retreat ministry really takes people who are already a bit knowledgeable of the faith and who are living that faith, but through the retreat experience, it deepens that faith in their life. Who are the Passionists? They are vowed men and women, living lives dedicated to sharing Christ's compassionate love. Today, the Passionist family in North America has grown from that first monastery atop Mount Oliver on Pittsburgh's south side to more than 50 locations coast to coast. It is a mission carried out in retreat houses and on the mission band, preaching of Christ's compassionate love. The Passionist does not take away your suffering but the Passionist walks with you in your suffering. And in that sense, the Passionist shows you the face of God. Who are the Passionists? They are great thinkers and theologians, challenging us all to expand our understanding of God's presence among us. Who are the Passionists? They are true to the spirit of their founders, engaging society in whatever modern means allow, using the media of each generation, from print to radio, television, and now the internet, using each tool to better preach an ageless message of hope. Who are the Passionists? They are authors, musicians, and artists of all types. They are men and women striving to connect with people on their deepest level, using all of God's blessings and talents to share their message. Who are the Passionists? They are people of prayer, especially during those difficult times when we need God most. Well, when you think about what people in large cities have to go through every day, the hustle and bustle, the tension, the stress, what we try to do at the spiritual center is give them an opportunity to slow down, to rest, to, to relax, to think about their own relationship with God and, and what that means in their life so that when they're out there in that busy world, uh, when they're dealing with all those stresses and concerns and difficulties and tensions in their life, that maybe they do it a little bit better. Uh, maybe they do it a little bit more peacefully. Uh, maybe they make the right decisions that help them move on in their life as a person or as part of a family or as certainly part of uh, our community, uh, our world. Who are the Passionists? They are missionaries just like those who came to Pittsburgh 
Today they seek out the poor and oppressed in many lands, extending the message of St. Paul of the Cross to new corners of the globe. The Passionists are located in over 50 mission sites throughout the world. And from the day of our founding, Paul the Cross was very interested and very concerned about the poor. And he made sure that that spirit was instilled in all of his followers. And today it continues. Our purpose was to be with them so that they see us, uh, we see them, we walk together, uh, we try to spread the good news of Christ's love for them. In Honduras, we have St. Benedict's Clinic, which serves over 40,000 people a year. And we have an orphanage there, over 600 children. Who are the Passionists? They are lay men and women collaborators who, having experienced the charism of the Passionists, now seek to bring that message to future generations. The laity have been involved in the Passionist mission since the time of our founder, St. Paul of the Cross. The Passionist volunteers have developed a wonderful program of outreach to people who are in need. They have worked for many years in the northeastern part of the United States, and in recent years they have worked very effectively in the Appalachian region of West Virginia. So it's a program of tremendous dedication and spirit, and not only do the volunteers work together, but they reflect after their work on what they have done and how God has led them into this experience. For a century and a half, the Passionists have ministered and been present to millions of people throughout this country in parishes, retreat centers, hospitals, through counseling, listening, through our art, music, books, and classrooms. We continue to proclaim the timeless message of Christ's boundless love, and it's through that message that hope is restored and faith is strengthened and hearts are touched. We are the Passionists. Who are the Passionists? We all are. The world has changed greatly since 1852, yet there remains an ever-present need to reach out to people who are seeking God's compassion and love. In a world where the everyday noise of a modern society can drown out the voices of those in need, the Passionists continue to stop and listen and to bring God's compassion into the world. Jesus to life.